everybody so today we're going to be doing a how to contour and how to highlight video I've already done my foundation my eyes and my eyebrows so next I'm going to be taking this NYX concealer it's tinted orange and that helps to conceal the darkness that I have under my eyes so I'm going to go ahead and take the um, it's just a Sona Kashuk like mini stippling brush and go ahead and dip it inside the little jar and place it directly underneath those dark spots or dark, dark areas that we have. So then we're going to go ahead with a damp beauty blender and we're just going to be blending this out. Okay, so now that we have the orange concealer blended in for the most part, I'm going to go in with my LA Girls Pro Conceal and the shade is Creamy Beige. So I'm just going to squeeze some out and a lot always comes out. And I'm just going to be placing this right underneath on top of where we previously placed the orange uh, concealer. Kind of in an upside down triangle and bringing it up just a little bit. And you'll also want to place a little bit of this concealer in the middle of your forehead. Bring it down the bridge of your nose. Add some to your cupid so. And to your chin as well. So we're just going to be placing this neutralizer um, concealer right on top of that as well. And it's a sponge tip applicator, so I'm just going to put a couple dots in places. Then we're going to go again with this beauty blender and blend everything out. Okay, so once that's blended in, what I'd like to do is I take a loose setting powder and for today I'm just going to be using the brightening powder by Sony Kashuk and it just looks like this. It's translucent and what we're going to do is take one of those like random wedge sponges and you're just going to dip, you're just going to dip it in like this, kind of getting like a junk load of products and then you're just going to be placing that like right there so what this does is once you place this translucent powder um, on top of your concealer your oils on your face absorb it and then later on we're going to blend it out with another brush and it just makes it look really seamless. We're also going to put a little bit on the chin area. Cupid's bow, nose, and in the middle of the forehead. Basically everywhere where we just conceal it, you want to set that. <clears throat> so we're going to let that sit while we contour. So I like to take my Real Techniques brush and it's just a stippling brush and it's kind of big, it's great for bronzing, and I have my L'Oreal True, True Match L'Oreal True Match powder and it's in the shade Cappuccino and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this to bronze up my face to warm it up a little bit You're going to want to do that on your cheekbones. You're going to bring this up by your hairline. On your jawline and chin area as well. I like to bring it up over here by my ears so it's not like a whole different shade over there. 
and then blend that out. So once we've bronzed the face, we're going to actually contour. And for today, I'm going to take my Shade and Light by Kat Von D. And I'm going to take the color Subconscious. And today, I'm going to try my e.l.f. Stippling, small stippling brush. And we're just going to go ahead and what you want to do is you want to place this right here where your hair curves in behind your ear. You just want to start there in the hollows of your cheeks and kind of just blend it out. Create a shadow to define your cheekbones. I also like to bring some right here on the sides of my nose. Again, we're just placing this in the hollows of our cheeks. And you kind of want to start here first and work your way down. That way you don't have a, uh, like a blotch of darkness in case you grab too much product or something. You can always blend it out easier if it's from here down instead of this way. I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques brush and I'm going to be grabbing the darkest color, color Sombre, and I'm just going to run that across my hairline. With this brush, we're also going to be deepening up this contour a little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to be taking the same brush the same color sombre that we use to sweep across our hairline and you're just going to be going down your jawline. Blending that down, blending that down. <laughs> And then I like to go back with the bronzer brush that we previously used to just make make sure everything is nice and smooth, nice and blended. So far, this is what we have. We've contoured. Basically, what we did, did is set a bunch of translucent powder on it so that our oils on our face can absorb it and make it look even more flawless once we've blended everything out. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to blush, and for this I'm taking, again, it's Sonia Kashuk, it's just, um, the shade is 09 Melon, and it's just a matte blush. I'm going to be taking that with any angled, any angled brush, or blush brush, blush brush that you have. Today I just wanted to go with like a natural blush, and I really love this color for that. And we're just going to be placing that on the apples of our cheeks, kind of bringing it up a little bit. This is one of those blushes that like you kind of have to get a little bit of more product than normal to kind of show, especially I think because of my skin tone. But that's a good thing because that way I don't accidentally like grab too much and like look like a clown. Alright, so making sure that's even looks good for me. I like to top it off with this. It's a NYX bl Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer it says. It just looks like this. And it's pretty pale. It looks a little bit shimmery, and I just like to top it off.
Okay, so now we can blend in on this powder situation. So I'm taking a Sona Kashuk. It's just a small powder brush. And I like it because it like fits right there under my eyes where I need it to. And we're just going to blend this out. Now that we've done that, I kind of feel like I need to go over my blush a little bit. So I'm just going to go back with the Sony Kasha 09 Melon. Okay, so now we're going to move on to highlighting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be dipping my Beauty Blender into Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. And the reason for that is because I just found out that it got shattered, it fell on the floor highlighter everywhere so yeah I'm just gonna be get, grabbing a little bit on my damn beauty blender and placing that on the highest parts of my cheeks I like to stop kind of like right in the half mark of my eye I like to bring the highlight from my end of my eyebrow here up until like half the half mark of my eye. I'm going to go ahead and just dip some with my finger and I like to run that through the middle of my nose, the bridge of my nose. Grab a little bit more for the middle of my forehead, above my eyebrow. You're going to place this highlighter wherever the sun hits. So, as you can see, I've got this. I put a little bit above my eyebrow, a tad bit in the center of my forehead. And then just a little bit above my my eyebrows. I also like to grab just a little bit and put it on my cupid's bow. Alrighty, so once that is complete, I like to go over which I forgot. I usually do this after the bronzer. I'll take again my Sony Kashuk. This is called Goddess. It's like a luminosity bronzer. And I'll just grab a little bit on this brush and take some over everything just to additionally make sure that everything is blended. I like to bring that on my jawline and down. Okay, so that's the completed look, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a closer look. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my videos, um, just go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys again, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!